I am Chris Cole. I am Commissioner of Buildings and General Services. We are the department that uh, issues these grants, and we have oversight of some of the building's community grants. I want to welcome you to this uh, celebration. Each and every one of you uh, is the best of the best. Um, you were selected to receive a grant uh, from this program. Each year, uh, $600,000 is appropriated by the Vermont Legislature for distribution through the Building Communities Grant Program. This program supports infrastructure investments in the state of Vermont that supports community program goals. There are three annual grant programs administered by the Department of Buildings and General Services. They are economic development grants, recreational facility grants, and then human service and education grants. These programs are intended to stimulate job creation, help with new design or upgrades of facilities for nonprofits and municipalities, as well as the private sector. All nonprofit agencies that serve Vermonters are eligible to apply for these grants in any amount up to $25,000. The application process was created to be simple so anyone can complete it. The grants require a one-to-one -one match and are designed to be last gap funding to support your projects. Thank you all for coming to celebrate your projects and these wonderful grant programs made available to you by the Vermont General Assembly. At this time, I would like to introduce the governor of the great state of Vermont, Philip B. Scott. Well, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for coming. And if you haven't had an opportunity, please get out to visit the Vermont History Center. It's a wonderful uh, area. This is because we've had some construction at the, uh, the State House, but we've had a number of events here in the, in the Snelling Room, and uh, it's a great venue. So if you have an opportunity, get out there and see that. I, I look forward uh, to this ceremony uh, every year uh, because it's worthwhile. It's putting money back into communities. And I'd uh, like to thank uh, each and every one of you first uh, for your dedication. Uh, to make a difference in the lives of others in your communities as well. Uh, we're here to celebrate and highlight your accomplishments. Vermont's strength really comes from its communities and those Vermonters who go above and beyond uh, to make our state a better place, place to live. This program has always been highly competitive and this year was no exception. Uh, we have many projects uh, that, uh, that were in, uh, in the queue, so to speak. Uh, sprinkler systems, uh, upgrading community kitchens, increasing energy efficiency in buildings uh, with new windows and doors, providing safer playground facilities, creating outdoor recreation trails, installing new septic systems, and so forth. And something that has a special meaning to me as well, making facilities ADA compliant uh, with uh, improvements to bathrooms and ramps and so forth. Uh, my dad was a World War II vet. He was a double amputee as a result of uh, the D-Day invasion. Uh, so I know firsthand uh, how difficult it is for some to get access to some of our community facilities. So the ADA requirements have special meaning to me. Every year I've seen how these grants have had real lasting and meaningful impact for Vermonters. Now, I was, uh, I was in the Senate. Uh, before I became Lieutenant Governor and then Governor, and I was Chair of the Institutions Committee. When I first got into the Senate, uh, became elected, I was on the Institutions Committee, and, and that's where, where this started, actually. When I was there to begin with, uh, it was, uh, we, we issued a number of different uh, grants uh, to different uh, community projects, but it was all about who you knew uh, on the committee. Uh, in order to get, uh, get what you wanted. And I thought at the time uh, how unfair that was, uh, that it wasn't geographic, uh, it wasn't about the merits of the project. They were all worthwhile, but it was all about who you knew on the committee. And I thought, we need to change that. And I became chair uh, about three, four years later, and I worked with uh, Representative Alice Emmons, uh, my counterpart in the, uh, in the House, uh, and she uh, is still uh, chair of that committee. And we worked together to try and change that process so that it was simpler um, and more equitable uh, across the state. Uh, and, uh, and I think we succeeded in doing that. So I've been uh, pleased to see uh, what's happened as a result. Uh, this year we had 84 applications requesting over 1.4 million 
in funding across these three grant categories. 60 projects were funded, uh, totaling about $610,000 out of that 84. And this includes uh, 23 uh, recreational facilities grant projects, totaling $200,000, 11 human uh, services facility grant projects, totaling about $110,000, uh, 11 educational grants, uh, totaling $100,000, and then there were 15 regional economic development grant applicants that uh, totaled 200,000. So in closing, I again want to thank, uh, first of all, legislators. I see Warren Kitzmiller here, as well as Representative Shaw uh, in the back. Um, and, uh, but we need their support. So if you have an opportunity, if you receive a grant today, thank your legislators. Uh, thank your uh, local legislators, because they make it happen. Uh, we don't want to go back to the old way. We like this new new process, but it takes them supporting this in order for it to happen. And I want to, again, thank each and every one of you for stepping up to make a difference in your neighborhoods, for enhancing the quality of life in your communities, and making Vermont a truly, truly great place to live, work, and raise a family. So with that, we'll do the important part now. we start giving out the grants at some point. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, uh, Deputy Commissioner Jennifer Fitch, um, who uh, nothing happens at BGS without her involvement, is going to read off uh, the grant recipients. If you would come up at that time uh, when you hear your organization uh, called come up, we'll get a picture with the governor, myself, and, uh, and your grant. And, uh, and we're going to cycle through this. And the first up are going to be the economic development grants. Thank you, Commissioner Cole, and good morning, everybody. It's an exciting day. So the first uh, recipient is the town of Moncton. The organization is the Addison County Economic Development Corporation on behalf of Wooden Hammer LLC to renovate, fit up, and equip existing space to expand the woodworking cabinetry business. You keep that. <laughs> you keep that. There'll, there will be another one that comes in the mail. <laughs> you keep that. Our second recipient is Middlebury, the Addison County Economic Development Corporation. Ooh, this is a tough one to say. Agricola. Agricola meets. Sorry about that. And it's to renovate, fit up, and equip lease space for a meat processing facility. The Thank next you. grant goes to the town of Bristol, Addison County Economic Development Corporation, Bristol Bakery and Cafe Wholesale LLC, to invest in new equipment for packing and automated roll making and to add additional ovens. Our next grant goes to the town of Shoreham, Addison County Economic Development Corporation, on behalf of Champlain Orchard LLC, Inventory Management System Hardware Project, Donut Equipment Upgrade, and Employee Cafeteria Projects. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. The next grant recipient goes to the town of Dorset, Bennington County Industrial Corporation, H.N. Williams Store, for retail expansion and construction of fueling station and canopy. Our next grant recipient is the town of Bennington, Bennington County Industrial Corporation, Polar Composite LLC, asbestos remediation and fire sprinkler system upgrades for renovation and fit up. We'll divvy up the money later on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> The next recipient is the town of Hardwick, the North Eastern Vermont Development Association, Vermont Soy LLC, for steam boiler and system build out project. Congratulations. The next grant goes to the town of South Hero, 
Lake Champlain Islands Economic Development Corporation, Champlain Islands Candy Lab, to improve processes, storage capacity, and display at the Chocolate Production Company. That sounds yummy. <laughs> the next recipient is the Town of Fairhaven. The organization is the Town of Fairhaven on behalf of Scotch Hill Brewing Company, LLC, to purchase a two vessel brew house to produce beer at the new brewery. Also sounds yummy too. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Good luck with the brewery. Thank you. The next recipient is the town of Rutland. The organization is the Rutland Economic Development Corporation on behalf of True Yoga Vermont for construction of a new yoga room at their new location. <laughs> the next recipient is the town of Websterville. Organization is the Central Vermont Economic Development Corporation on behalf of Vermont Creamery to provide solar signage and crosswalk designation for safe pedestrian crossing at Wilson Industrial Park. The next recipient is the Town of Montpelier, Central Vermont Economic Development Corporation on behalf of Timber Homes Vermont to support the completion of their dust collection system. The next recipient is the Town of Brattleboro, Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation, Backroads Food Company, LLC, the Granola Deposter Project and the Granola Tray Scraping Project. The next recipient is the Town of Island Pond. The organization is the Brighton Community Forum and it's for renovations to the Island Pond Welcome Center. The next recipient is the town of Rutland, the Rutland Makers Inc., the Mint Rutland's Makerspace, to create dividing walls separating the various functions of the mark Makerspace. So that completes the Recreational Economic Development Grants and we are now moving on to the Human Services Facilities Grants. So the next recipient is the Town of Goshen. The organization is Camp Thorpe. The project description is installation of new accessible doorways and new energy efficient windows in 14 cabins. The next recipient is the Town of Arlington, Bennington County Humane Society, Second Chance Animal Center, for the installation of rain gutters and a storage shed. The next recipient is the Town of Burlington, Burlington Dismas Dismas House, to improve drainage and to decrease water infiltration to the foundation. The next grant recipient is the town of Morrisville, United Way of Lamoille County, renovation to a barn to build community food security. The next recipient is the town of Randolph, Randolph Area Community Development Corporation, to purchase, move, and rehabilitate an older mobile home. So this next grant recipient is Circle Inc. and it's repairs to Circle's emergency shelter. Purchase and install heating element for the roof, exterior painting, mold removal from interior walls and carpet, and replacing broken windows. 
The next recipient is the Town of Barrie, Washington County Mental Health Services. Installation of a handicap access lift at the Well Space Building. Was this the one for this? Yeah. Yep. This one. The Circle? The elevator. The elevator. Yep. Elevator's right. Yep. <laughs> you, have that, you, have, you have really good timing. I'm usually a speed. The next recipient is the Town of Barrie, Highgate Nonprofit, to install a sprinkler system in the community building. The next grant recipient is the Town of Montpelier, Montpelier Senior Activity Center, a division of the Community Services Department of the City of Montpelier for the installation of water fountains and acoustical panels to make the space more accommodating and supportive of wellness for members and the public. Thank you. The next grant recipient is the Town of Brattleboro, United Way of Wyndham County, to purchase and install LED operatory lights at the Wyndham County Dental Center. The next recipient is the town of Townshend. Townsend? Townsend. Townsend. Carlos G. Otis Healthcare Center, Grace Cottage Hospital HVAC Replacement Project. The next recipient is the town of Starksboro, Starksboro Village Meeting House, restoration of the Starksboro Village Meeting House. The next grant goes to Bennington Sunrise Family Resource Center to make safety enhancements and improvements to early childhood playground. The next grant recipient is the Town of South Hero, Lake Champlain Islands Economic Development Corp. Turn to Joy Early Care and Learning to renovate existing building for a newly created child care facility. Next grant recipient is South Burlington. Oh. They're different, different South Hero grant. Okay. Uh, Lund Family Center, safety improvements to their kitchen. The next grant recipient is the Town of St. Albans for the Northwest Access TV to purchase media equipment. The next grant recipient is the Town of Forestville, River Arts of Morrisville, Inc. to purchase and install a commercial dishwasher. The next grant recipient is the Town of Rutland, the Rutland County Parent Child Center, replacement of the heating, cooling, and ventilation system. The next grant recipient is the Town of Barrie for resource to upgrade windows, doors, and a new exterior vinyl, vinyl siding.
The next grant recipient is the Town of Brattleboro for the Winston Browdy Center for Child and Family Development to replace an inefficient hot water heater. The next grant recipient is the Town of Proctorsville, Stepping Stones Preschool, renovating, expanding the attached garage space, including a new heating system and handicapped accessibility ramp. The next grant recipient is the Town of Woodstock, Woodstock Community Play School, the school's relocation project. The next recipient goes to the town of Middlebury, Friends of the Middlebury Hockey, to complete the Memorial Sports Center second floor, including indoor restrooms, a heated viewing area, upgraded concessions, a community meeting room, and to add an elevator. The next grant recipient goes to the town of Bristol, Bristol Recreational Club, Recreation Club, to hire a VYCC crew for one week for the hardened sections of their three plus mile trail. Next grant recipient goes to the town of Ripton, Vermont Elks Charities, Silver Towers Camp for People with Disabilities, replacement of the camp kitchen floor, bottom cabinets, and countertops. The next grant recipient is the town of Woodford for Prospect Mountain Association to replace their septic system. The next uh, recipient is St. Johnsbury, the town of St. Johnsbury, the Three Rivers Path Extension and Trailhead Project. The next grant recipient is the town of Bolton, Smile Memorial School for new playground equipment. The next grant recipient is the town of Essex Junction, village of Essex Junction, to convert two tennis courts into six pickleball courts at Cascade Park. That sounds fun, do a little pickleball. The next recipient is the town of St. Albans, Collins Pearly Campus, Maple Run United School District for a new playground. The next grant recipient is the Town of St. Albans for the Franklin County Senior Center to repair the heating system. The next grant recipient goes to the Town of Montgomery, Montgomery Recreational Department to construct additional mileage of the multi-use path. I was waiting for this little cutie pie to get up. Oh, that's adorable. Thanks. It's so cute. It's okay. It happens frequently. The next grant recipient is Isle Lamont. Isle Lamont Preservation Trust upgrades to the educational recreational trail signs. The next grant recipient goes to the town of Cambridge for the Cambridge Recreation Board to purchase multi-use storage shed concession stand. The next grant recipient goes to the town of Morristown, town of Morristown to add a swing set and mulch to Oxbow Riverfront Park. 
The next grant recipient is the Town of Greensboro, Greensboro Community Child Care Center, four seasons of early learning, to purchase new playground equipment and resurface the back playground area. The next grant recipient goes to the Town of Wells, Town of Wells, to build a pavilion at Lakeside Park. The next grant recipient goes to the Town of Brandon, Town of Brandon Recreation Department, removal and replacement of border fencing and creation of a parking area. The next grant recipient goes to the town of East Montpelier, East Montpelier Recreational Board, Town of East Montpelier Select Board, to purchase additional aluminum bleachers, replacement of soccer nets, and replacement of fencing. The next grant recipient is the town of Vernon. For the town of Vernon, improvements to recreation area bathrooms, including replacement of a double door and to construct privacy access to the public bathrooms facility in the pavilion. The next grant recipient is the town of Brattleboro, the Brattleboro Outing Club. Purchase, move, and finish a 15 foot by 36 foot building to serve as a ski hut. The next grant recipient is the Town of Guilford. The Town of Guilford, Guilford Recreational Commission to complete the Playscape Enhancement Projects. The next grant recipient is the Town of Brattleboro, the Retreat Farm, to complete a trail sign and wayfinding project. The next grant recipient is the Town of Saxton's River, Saxton's River Recreation <coughs> Area, to replace the roof on the pavilion. The next grant recipient is the Town of Chester for the creation of phase one of a walking hiking trail. And then there's one more. And we're gonna go backwards for a minute. Yep, Lake Champlain Islands Economic Development Corporation on behalf of the Champlain Islands Candy Lab. This is an Economic Development Corporation grant. That concludes um, our uh, program. I um, want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and uh, receiving your check. We have coffee and cookies, I see, in the, the back, so feel free to, uh, to stick around and, and chat with your fellow grant recipients. Um, we really appreciate all the work that you do in your communities. Thank you.